Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me at ProductCon. My name is Greg Saldana, and I am the Chief Product Officer at Yelp. I look forward to walking you through how I think about AI applications for platforms built around user-generated content, or UGC, like reviews. But first, maybe just a little bit of background. Um, I started my career as an engineer at Intel, where I spent 10 years building microprocessors and then writing microcode. Uh, after my MBA, I spent the next decade at Amazon, uh, first as an ICPM at Kindle, and then through a variety of roles, ended up uh, running both product and engineering teams for Amazon Prime Video. And now I oversee both product and design for one of my favorite consumer apps of all time, Yelp. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, uh, Yup is a marketplace where our mission is to connect consumers with great local businesses. And that is actually a great segue into today's topic, AI for user-generated content platforms or UDC platforms. We've seen an explosion of AI and some very innovative and compelling AI use cases over the past couple of years. Many of these revolve around replacing people. So like customer service agents, automated assistants, all of that. Or some cases are focused on making people's jobs easier and making them better and faster at what they do. Now, these types of AI applications are not always directly applicable or helpful on platforms where user-generated content is the primary reason why users visit that, that platform. So think about platforms like Yelp, TripAdvisor, Rotten Tomatoes, Goodreads, or even forums like Reddit. In these types of products, users are explicitly seeking interactions or connections with other users. They come back to those products because they trust that the interactions, they, they trust their interactions uh, with other users, and they don't want those interactions, they don't want those connections replaced by interactions with some AI-powered software. But I think AI can still play a very important and powerful role on these platforms. And today I thought it might be interesting to walk you through how we're using AI at, at Yelp to elevate consumer trust. So to start, I think there's lots of reasons why consumers trust a, a product. At Yelp, our top three reasons are one is the breadth and the depth of our content. You know, Yelp's been around for 20 years, and over that time, we have hundreds of millions of reviews across a broad categories, uh, set of categories and businesses, from restaurants to plumbers, and consumers really like that. The second is authenticity of those reviews. Yelp's reviews come from actual human beings who have experienced a business firsthand. And people really want that. They value that. And the third is that we allow them to make meaningful connections with other people, whether those people are other users or professionals that are offering a service and that they're looking to hire. Now, this may seem obvious to many of you, but I think it's worth saying explicitly, for user-generated content products, it's very important to understand where your trust comes from because if you use AI in the right way, you can elevate that, that trust. And if you use it incorrectly, you can very quickly erode that consumer trust. And we'll talk about a few examples. So to start, at Yelp, we use AI to eliminate friction for people to connect with other people. And broadly, there's two types of connections. They're synchronous. This is where a user is trying to get an immediate and personalized response. So as an example, let's just say, I need to fix a leaky faucet and I wanna know how much it's gonna cost. And so I want to connect with a plumber or maybe a few plumbers who can understand my unique situation and give me a personalized quote. Now these types of connections typically need to happen in as close to real time as, as possible. And so a good application of AI is to speed up that communication, but without impacting the personal connection. Like that is the key. Now there's also async communication. And this is where a user connects with another user over a, over a period of time. So let's say, as an example, 
I'm looking for a restaurant in Seattle that serves New Orleans style beignets. So very specific. Now of the hundreds of millions of reviews at Yelp, I imagine there's at least one user who's had that exact same experience and I want to connect with them through their review. And if their review was written a week ago or in the last year maybe, that's not as important. And so these, in these instances, the time component is not as important, but what is often more important with async connections is finding that specific user or set of users who've had the specific experience that I am looking for. And so at Yelp, we're using AI to enhance both types of these, these connections, and we'll talk about how in the next couple of slides. But to understand how we use AI, it's useful for me to explain just how we think about a connection. A user typically goes through a few stages to make a connection. First, they have a rough idea of what they're looking for when they start their search, but we often need to help them refine that search intent. Now, once they know exactly what they're looking for, we serve them a set of results. And then we help them decide which business to connect with. And once they've made that, that decision, then we help them make the connection, whether it's through a phone call, a, a website visit, or maybe a text message. And then finally, we encourage them to leave a review in order to get that flywheel going to facilitate those async connections that happen later and that happen over time. And so let's start with the first stage, search and discover it. I think of search intents as being of two kinds. The first is objective searches. Now these are queries where the consumer is looking for some factual information. So as an example, how late is this restaurant open? Or does it have a wheelchair ramp? Or on the services side, does this plumber fix toilets? When the response is objective, so based on fact rather than opinion, consumers don't necessarily care what the source of the response was. They simply want to know the correct factual answer and they want to know it as quickly as possible. Now AI and especially LLMs are pretty good at answering these types of, of queries. And at Yelp, we use these LLMs to parse hundreds of millions of reviews in order to answer the most specific questions in a way that feels both personal as well as precise. And we've even made these responsible, uh, sorry, we've even made these available through an, through an API so that third parties can integrate with us and make these uh, responses available wherever consumers need them. So let's say that you're on a travel website and you're booking a trip to Miami and you have a question about a restaurant. Let's say that you're looking for a restaurant in Miami that is open on Sunday for brunch, is kid friendly, good for large groups and maybe takes reservations. The third party can then pass that information over to Yelp and uh, we would parse it. Our LLM would look through all of our reviews and then return that small set of restaurants that meets all of your criteria. Now, the second type of query is subjective. So questions like, is this restaurant romantic? Does this particular mechanic really understand the intricacies of how to work on BMWs? The answers to these types of questions are opinion rather than fact. And these answers can vary very dramatically depending on the source. Now we recognize that on UGC platforms, consumers are specifically seeking an authentic human response. So rather than provide them with an AI generated answer, we use AI to find the best possible answer, but then instead of providing that answer, we connect them with the specific review so that they can see all of the context of that entire human experience. And when we do it well, it can really feel like finding a needle in a haystack. Now on Yelp, you can see review snippets for most, most searches 
that actually point to the actual reviews from real users. And what this helps is when you look at the search, search results, they feel like they were curated just for you based on the specific query that you had. And it gives you examples of actual human beings who've had similar experiences like the one that you're looking for. And I think overall, when used in the right way in this context, AI can be really, really powerful. An important category of subjective queries is recommendations. In these instances, the user has a pretty good idea of what their problem is, but they may not know enough about potential solutions. And so they simply come asking for, for help. And their questions can be quite, quite broad. Uh, they can be broad enough to en encompass multiple search intents. And so first we have to help the user identify what their search intent is and then refine it before we get into the discovery phase and narrow down their choices. At Yelp, we're using AI in two ways. First, to help users refine their search intent, we launched Yelp Assistant. Now users can come to Yelp and simply open Yelp Assistant and tell it what their problems are. So just as an example, let's say the check engine light on my car is on, I'm not quite sure why. So I go to Yelp Assistant and say, I need help uh, with, this, with this issue, the check engine light on my car is on. And Yelp Assistant will go through the process of asking me a bunch of questions to help identify what the, what the problem is. So things like, what is the make and model of your car? When did this start to happen? Um, do you notice it, it comes on and stays on at certain times of day versus, versus others after you've been driving for a while or the car has been sitting idle, et cetera? And it, it will walk me through this process of helping narrow down my intent before um, it helps me identify what type of service I might need and then helps connect me with the pros. And so it's leveraging all of the conversations, the similar conversations that users have had with pros on our platform to help me refine my search intent and help me find what I'm, what I'm looking for. The second is AI curated videos. Yup, users have always been awesome about providing these rich descriptive reviews of local businesses along with photos and videos. And so now we're using AI to stitch these videos up together and pull together the collective wisdom of our reviewers to give you new users an experiential view of local businesses. And now you're probably thinking, you know, vlogs and reels, they've been around for a while, this is not new. But what is different is that on social media platforms, you're typically getting the opinion of one individual, typically an influencer. At Yelp, we're using AI to now harness the collective sentiment of the crowd. And I think that can be very powerful. So why don't we take a look? Welcome to Cesarina, where every bite takes you on a journey to the heart of Italy's culinary excellence. Savor the Fungi Mafalda, a delightful concoction of homemade pasta drenched in a rich, creamy mushroom sauce. Witness the craft up close at the pasta station, where skilled hands shape the freshest ingredients into culinary masterpieces. Dine in elegance amidst the warm and inviting indoor ambiance, where soft lights and chic decor blend perfectly. Cesarina is ideal for a date night, a friendly gathering, or a solo adventure for the culinary curious. All right, so to summarize, on, on user-generated content or UGC platforms, consumers value the authenticity that comes from pers personal experiences. AI is most effective when it removes fiction and helps one user connect with another user. There are two types of connections that we talked about, async and sync, and AI can be applied differently to each of those uh, connections. On UGC platforms, users are seeking both objective and subjective answers. And when you when used correctly, AI can effectively help users refine their search intent, narrow down their choices, and decide on whom to connect with and how to make that, that connection. And when used right, when used to remove friction, I think AI can really help elevate consumer trust. So I'll end with thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed some of the content that we have, and I'll look for your feedback, both synchronously and async.